Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about two alternatives to the Uber Cheek stamping mat. Now there's nothing wrong with the Uber Cheek. I just find that it was a bit too expensive for me to justify buying it. You know, $20 shipped. That's kind of a lot for something that's essentially just a silicone mat. Not to take anything away from them. I'm sure it's a fabulous product, but I'm on a budget. I couldn't really afford that. Now the first mat I have here, pink mat, it comes in a variety of colors. I found it in Walmart's grocery section. Um, they had it on quite a few aisles and it is called a safety first mat. See that there? And this mat I believe is used for a placemat for children who are still kind of messy learning how to eat and I paid five dollars for this. It's fabulous. I've had it for four months now. As you can see it is well used and it's fantastic. It does everything I need it to do. I can swatch on here, stamp on here, I can do my um, gradients on here as well and for five dollars you really can't go wrong. Nice and flexible. I just throw this in the sink if I want to get the debris off of it. I mean, it's fabulous. So again, this is from Walmart in the grocery section for $5. It's my first one. And now the second one I got, I got this about two, I want to say a month and a half ago. And this one is from AliExpress. And I haven't yet seen a review for it done. So I guess this will also serve as a review for this mat. I love this thing. It was $7.50 with free shipping. It got here in about two weeks, so around Thanksgiving or so, which I thought was impressive because, you know, shipping in the holiday time, forget about it. It can be a really, uh, it can be a hassle. So it came here and the first thing I was worried about was this beautiful pattern on here. I wondered if it would withstand acetone. And to my great surprise, it does. I mean, I've spilled all kinds of acetone over here and it looks perfect, which is great. And it's really thick too, which is so cool. Much thicker than this one that I got from Walmart. Not that it matters. I mean, the, wall, the one from Walmart, the lack of thickness really doesn't matter because your tabletop will not be damaged either way. But it was just something I noticed about this one, that it was quite thick. Um, it also came with this armrest here. Now in the pictures, when I saw it on AliExpress, I figured, oh, I'm just gonna toss that in the garbage, but actually it's quite useful. It's great to put your hand on when you're painting your nails. God, it's so helpful. And this part here is silicone as well. So the word armrest does not come off, and it's really great for um, painting your nails on. So I actually use this quite a bit. Since I got this one, I no longer use the one from Walmart, literally only because it's cuter. That's the only difference. Now these are my two alternatives. This one for $7.50 from AliExpress. This one for $5 at Walmart. Well, here's the armrest, you can see it a little better. It's very thick plastic. It's not flimsy in any regards. I mean, look at that, it's so darling. I mean, yeah guys. Both of these mats together is the price of just the Uber Cheek. I mean, just about. So take your pick, Walmart, AliExpress, either way, these are really affordable mats, and I just wanted to share what I found with y'all. Okay, take care.